Hi, this is Sean Darrington, Senior Director of Product Management here at StorageCraft. In this short how-to video, I want to share with everybody how to set up encryption at rest uh, for the OneSafe cluster. Uh, we've recently rebranded OneBlocks to be OneSafe, uh, which includes our scale-out storage but also the data protection services. So with the OneSafe 3.1 version and later, you can log in to the web console. Uh, this is the IP address of my OneSafe. You can find that through the One System registration process or you can use Keyboard or Monitor and uh, log in with the default credentials of admin and config, which is the same as the web console default password and username, and then uh, do network, enter, and then list, and it'll show you the IP address of your OneSafe. So for here, let me just log in, and I'm gonna show you how to set up encryption. I haven't created this cluster yet, because you have to set up encryption at rest at the time you create the cluster. So here are two other one blocks, uh, two other uh, one safe, uh, and you'll see some of the naming here, one blocks, but the two other nodes in the network that have discovered each other. However, I only want to create a single node cluster. If I wanted to select a two node cluster, you could do that, but this is actually a 4312 and a 5210 all flash model, uh, which we don't support heterogeneous clusters yet. So for the 4312, we'll do a single node cluster and we'll protect against two drive failures. Okay, so go ahead and Enable encryption at rest, and you're going to want to choose a secure passphrase, and then go ahead and create your cluster. Um, this will erase, since this is actually the first time you're setting the cluster up, uh, all the data will be stored in an AES-256 encrypted format. It's also important that you realize that StorageCraft cannot retrieve your passphrase if you lose it. So as an, ad, as an administrator, obviously keep track of that because you will need it uh, at any point in time to change the passphrase in the future um, or if you're trying to read that information later. So now after a few minutes, you'll see this going through a number of steps for initializing the cluster and then creating the cluster. And then at the end, you'll have a confirmation and you're off and running. You can begin using it, creating shares, setting up your network profile and um, going from there. So this process can take, uh, depending on how many drives and the number of nodes in your cluster, this could take five to 10 minutes depending upon um, those variables as I mentioned. So just stay on this page. If you try to navigate away, there'll be a warning um, that you're navigating away, but you actually don't want to stay there. You want to stay on this page until you have the cluster confirmed. So that's as easy as it is to enable encryption at rest. And thanks for watching and check out storagecraft.com support for additional how-to videos.